As we saw with MOSFETs, we can achieve approximately linear voltage amplification by biasing the BJT transistor. When using MOSFETs, we bias the transistor at some midpoint in the saturation region in what was referred to as a common source configuration. Similarly, with BJTs, we can bias the transistor of a, what is known as a common emitter configuration at some midpoint within its active region. This is the voltage transfer characteristic for the BJT. It consists of a region before the base to emitter voltage is great enough. And, and we have along here, note that VBE along here and VCE across or along this axis here. And in this amplifier configuration, we're going to define the output voltage as the voltage at the collector relative to the emitter. In this case, the emitter is uh, grounded. So we have the active region here where VBE is not yet great enough to cause or to bring the current, the uh, transistor into conduction. This is referred to as the cutoff region. Then there's the region of linearity that corresponds to that area here, and we call that the active region. And then beyond that, the transistor is driven into saturation region when the voltage here at the collector is enough less than the base voltage to forward bias that PN junction between the collector and the base. So this is the configuration we're going to be using, or at least symptomatic of the uh, configuration we're going to use for amplifier gain. And this is the corresponding transfer curve or the voltage transfer curve for it. We're going to choose some bias point, some quiescent point that is located mid-region, somewhere mid-region of this active region. By doing so, that establishes, that VBE establishes a corresponding biased VCE, and there's also a corresponding I sub C, which is the bias collector current going through the transistor. Thus, the transistor will be biased or turned on at some midpoint and be ready to, vary, to amplify small variations in VBE. Once again, we're going to have to limit the variations in VBE because a too large of a variation will drive the transistor from its active region into the saturation region, and too much of a negative variation in VBE will drive the transistor from its active region into the cutoff region. The transfer curve is defined by this, where we're, and we're talking about the output voltage, VCE, which is equal to the biasing voltage, VCC, minus the voltage drop across R sub C here. So VCE is equal to VCC minus R sub C times I sub C. Now, as we know, in the BJT transistors, the currents are all proportional to or, or are all um, of an exponential form and are proportional to E to the VBE, the base to emitter voltage. So if we put in here the expression for I sub C, just I sub S, E to the VBE over V sub T. The voltage gain A sub V is defined as the partial of VCE with respect to VBE evaluated at the quiescent point VCE equals the, the quiescent voltage VCE and the quiescent VBE. Now we can go ahead and take this or calculate the partial of this expression here. Of course, the derivative of the constant is 0, and we're left with a negative sign times R sub C times I sub S times the derivative of this, which is E to the VBE over VT, multiplied by the derivative of the exponent, which is 1 over V sub T. So rewriting that then, we're left with negative R sub C. You'll recognize this again as just I sub C, the, the uh, collector current. So writing that as I sub C divided by V sub T. That then is the gain of this configuration. It bears, uh, there are a couple of characteristics that bear additional attention. First of all, you'll notice that there is an inversion. It is an inverting amplifier, just as we saw with the common source amplifier with the MOSFETs. It's also proportional to the resistor that exists or is placed in the collector. Just as with the MOSFETs, the gain of the common source amplifier was dependent upon the drain resistor, while the gain of the common emitter amplifier is dependent upon the, collector, the size of the collector resistor. 
It's also proportional to I sub C, to the quiescent current. We already realize that there are limitations. This may imply that we could get more gain out of it by increasing I sub C, but again, we're, re we're limited by the operating region that results in a linear um, output, or we're still going to be limited by the variation so that we don't drive it out of the linear region. And finally, it's inversely proportional to V sub T that we don't have a whole lot of control over.